Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There he is. He's as good as new. Are you a good dog? You didn't get stolen? What? Where'd you go? I've been looking for you. Where'd you go? You big bear dog. Where'd you go? I walked all the way down the road and back. Looks like you've been in the havens. Are you a good dog? Hmm. Well, there's the bear dog. Answer a prayer. A good bear dog. I thought somebody for sure had picked you up. Oh, whoever thought about it, they didn't know any better not to. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. I'm glad to have you home. Where'd you go? Are you in the greenhouse? Where'd you go? You're all covered with shavings. You're a good dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good dog. Mm. Good dog. Good dog. Yeah. Well, Bear from Worm Family Homestead welcomes you home. Yeah. You're a bear dog. You're a good bear dog. Are you getting big? Are you getting big dog? Oh, such a big dog. Oh, such a big dog. We're glad to have you home. Oh, yeah. That's a bear dog. If I can make this work. There's a he cat laying in the sun. Oops. Sorry. There's a he cat laying in the sun. So that must be a she cat over there. It's hard to tell the difference, but that's definitely the heat cat. They're both fixed. And today I saw uh, one of our ferals. We have, I put the word out that if anybody wants to drop cats off here, we keep food out here for them. And we have a nice tiger, very shy, uh, very feral. But living off the mice here, and uh, that feral cat, either male or female, I don't know whether to say he or she, was uh, at the food bowl. I keep this food bowl full, and uh, yeah, she ran off that way, so she's in the barn looking for mice, which is a good thing. And it's a bear dog, and it's good to have you home. Good to have you home. I wondered. I thought I'd lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Well, praise be the Lord. Yep. If you come to the Fredericktown Homestead, you'll see bear. wonder how my fire is doing. Bear's back. Good thing. Still smoldering out there. You can just see it. Yeah, that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. See how that all cleaned up? Oh, that looks a lot better. It's black now, but it'll be green here in another 10 days. Ah, yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for bear. Are you a good dog? You don't come when called, but that's part of your breed. That's okay. Do I got to get you a collar tomorrow? I hesitate to put a collar on you. Maybe a flea collar? I don't know. Put your name on a collar? I don't know. Well, praise the Lord. Fredericktown Homestead has a bear. God bless. Well, good evening from the Fredericktown Homestead. It's uh, pitch dark. Uh, I had a few things on my list of things to get done today. I had a day off, I thought, because 
I didn't have anything booked for runs, but uh, one thing I want to do is make a cutting board. Simple cutting board. This is a cherry here. I planed it and uh, planed it two sides. And uh, I'm going to run the router around it, but you can see I didn't even get that done yet. But, uh, one of them days. The farmer that leases the ground here, he came by and we moved that harrow out of the garden area where the tall weeds, where I burned the weeds off. Um, we moved that harrow out and uh, I helped him to shuffle around some of his big equipment. And uh, I had a call for a quick run this morning that turned into a longer run. This is the rest of that cherry here that I didn't finish cleaning up. I just cleaned up that one piece for a cutting board. But you can see there's some rot in here. And this will be uh, put to good use. I'll use all I can out of it. But one thing I did today was clean out the van. It's uh, gotten to be quite a mess. and I got some of my clothes in here. I gotta take them into the house, and uh, but I cleaned out the van. That, that's nice. I have an all-day run tomorrow, all-day run on Wednesday, an all-day run on Thursday, and Friday's still up for grabs. But Fridays go quick. Uh, one run, and I got. All of these cottonwood studs, two by fours, out of cottonwood, kind of rough dimension, but they're good for uh, the three and a half inch dimension is pretty much constant throughout them. The, the other dimension, the inch and a half or two inches, or that varies a bit, but for studs, it'll work okay. I got all these cottonwood studs for uh, one run. I felt good about that. He brought them over here and stuck them in the concert hut. And this is wood from one of the mills. He didn't have any use for the small 2x4 stuff, so I made a deal with him that I'd get it for just the price of... Uh, that one run. I had to move all this plain stock here in order to get out a wood splitter which is back there that belongs to the crop farmer. But look at all this, this is all plain four sides and uh, pretty much dry. It's uh, about nine percent, pretty dry. Uh, I want more time to spend in the shop. I hoped that I'd be able to spend most of my day out here and I ended up with about 15 minutes to, I made this one cutting board for myself. I uh, don't have a cutting board in the house and I'm going to cut up something and I got nowhere to cut it. I got a granite cutting board, but that doesn't really suffice. I figure I'm going to treat this with uh, the router around the outside of it, both sides, and uh, then I'm going to finish it with vegetable oil. We got some vegetable oil in the house, I think, and uh, I'll just put vegetable oil to it until it won't hold it anymore. And that'll be my cutting board. Cherry come right off the land. I found out today that uh, this cherry, all this cherry over here, I thought it was from when we harvested here three years ago, the mill that I do a lot of work with. Um, I thought that this was from that harvest, but the leaf farmer says, no, 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 that's been here for 20 years, 25 years, this cherry has. Um, that's, that may be why it's down to 4% moisture. It's very dry. 
And uh, yeah, uh, I want time to work through this and make stuff out of some of it and make it into the trim for the house. Yeah, I didn't hear from the people that came to visit yesterday to see if they wanted it. I don't know if they're going to do it or not. I assumed I would have heard by now if they were going to, but I haven't heard. So the position is still open here at Frederick Town Homestead. Uh, I need somebody living here. Uh, free up some of my time and uh, make it possible to grow our own food. I did get this fan. Uh, the pedestal stand fan. I got that. The idea is to put that on this stack of wood. Um, blowing air through it will help. But I want to get all this wood here, the wood that this wood's leaning on, get it all uh, stuck. Five quarter. No, maybe five quarter. It's five eighths. Five eighths. Um, yeah, get that all stuck probably right here. Move this double saw horse and all this clobber that's in the way and uh, make a stack here. But I gotta cut stickers, I gotta go through it. As I find things that aren't ideal, I cut that into stickers on the table saw. Um, this whole pallet down below here gets all stuck. And, uh, oh, I'd like to do that. I'd like to get there. Uh, you know, how do you find the time to do stuff? Uh, I did find time to get a start on a cutting board. I'm going to run the router around to this real quick tonight before I take it in the house. And we had a beautiful sunset. We had a beautiful sunrise. We had a beautiful day here. But I didn't get a chance to film any of it. I, uh, couldn't film when the lease farmer was here. It would have been nice. We moved around some big tractors and that. But, um, yeah, I didn't get to film that. And I didn't get to film cleaning out the van because the Amishman was helping me. He was pretty much doing that. The other thing we did was uh, the upholstery of my back seat had given way. Some uh, foam had split and... He told me that he knew and his wife knew that that seat was just uncomfortable to sit in. And so we took it to a Amish shop to see if we could get it fixed. And they said, well, there's about a six months wait on any work. They're so busy. And he said, well, let's go out and just look at it, see what you need to do. So he looked at it with us and we were able to uh, diagnose the problem and come up with a solution. We actually used some of these slats here and uh, put some wood in to hold the foam and against the piping work, but uh, it was nice to use some of my own, some of this wood for something. But uh, yeah, we used uh, three slats and uh, his wife was riding with me tonight and she says, oh, it's like brand new, it's perfect. Good, thank you. And uh, she was happy. She was one of the ones that instituted our doing the repair. Uh, I'm happy. Yeah, cutting board. A lot happened today, but nothing, not like I'd want it to. I didn't get any burning done. Didn't get any filming done. I had high hopes for today. I did empty this wheelbarrow out and I got all this shavings. That's dry, dry cherry in there. Those shavings. Really nice stuff. But, uh, yeah. I just thought I'd check in with you folks. I said I'd do a video a day and I don't have a lot of options for what I can video tonight. I'm pretty much in the shop is my only choice. I uh, got stuff, I, I came out here to grab the stuff that's out here, it's got to go in the house. 
And the cutting board's got to go in the house after it's done, and the clothing's got to go in the house or in the van. Uh, look at this uh, jacket. Uh, I don't have merch, but I do have a jacket that I can wear. J.B. Brown, Fredericktown Homestead. Uh, that's a nice hooded jacket, black. I, I usually wear orange, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, got myself a, the first part of, piece of my own merch. Well, hmm. I need the time to stack some lumber. Stack and stick. I've got the fan. The, the reason I got that fan was actually for this stack. That stack over there, that's pretty much dry. But uh, this here, it's all dead stacked, dead packed, we call that. Wood against wood, and uh, it needs to be stickered. Go through and take out the bad stuff, make the bad stuff into stickers. You're much too bad for stickers, you're making the firewood for the house. But uh, yeah, this is all firewood for the house here. This is just the trimmings. I've burned up a lot of that, but that's what's left of the trimmings. And uh, this first course on here, this, this course here, that's all plain. That's all just to smooth the baby's bottom and uh, plane down to half inch five eighths plane down to half inch uh, that uh, extra eighth has uh, three thirty seconds in it two swipes on one side and then one swipe on the other each one a thirty second and uh, you've got a clean board. On the mill here, this crank here is one full revolution to this crank is a 30 second. And uh, it's set up to take off either a 30 second or half a turn is a 64th. But most often, except for on this wide stuff, this wide stuff I was going down in 64th. That's a slow process, but uh, that's all the motor will handle with this wide wood, dry, dry cherry. Would that make a nice cutting board? Yeah. Well, I still got a position that hasn't been filled yet. I hope it would have been filled by tonight, but it's not. Um, yeah, dark out there. Yeah, I got a position for a family or a couple to come to the Fredericktown homestead and grow their own food. I'll teach you all I can. I'm mentored with a guy that was born in 1896, Archie Morse, and uh, he taught me how to do poultry, pigs, dairy, beef, um, oxen, and uh, I know the old ways in general, but then now I want to do the today's ways. I want to do YouTube. I want to I want to be a consistent presence on YouTube, a daily presence on YouTube. 100 days of uh, at least one video per day. Uh, is that too much to ask? I figure some of the people that I watch daily, or look for daily at least, did that exact same thing. They, uh, Justin Rhodes, he, uh, he's done, I think, two years. He's uh, done the 100 days in a row thing. And uh, Holler Homestead's done it. And I think so the land may have done it. And Fit Farmer may have done it. And then Mike Morgan and, and uh, his wife Melissa, 
He's a worker as far as he does a full-time job. He hasn't quit his job yet for YouTube, but he uh, puts a video out like at least six times a week. And uh, I know how I feel about his videos. I look for them. I wait for them. Alumna puts out one. That's uh, Alumna Acres up in Littleton, Vermont. Uh, New Hampshire, sorry. He, um, that's kind of offensive, call it Vermont. But um, yeah, he does it five days a week. He doesn't do it on Wednesdays, and he doesn't do it on Sundays. And he's just that predictable. Just this last week here, he asked his watchers if he could get permission from them to cut it back some. I don't blame him. Boy, he's been doing that five days a week since he quit doing six days a week. He was, was doing six days a week. But hey, he's got me hooked. I go looking for his every morning, and I'm so disappointed on Wednesdays and Sundays when there isn't any video from him. But uh, yeah, I want to do at least one video every day for a uh, hundred days at least. And uh, yeah, I got a bear dog here that willing to help out. He good camera fodder. Yep. The family that came yesterday really enjoyed Bear and the cats. The she cat, uh, she went after a mouse right while they were here and caught the mouse. And uh, she was the hero. But uh, yeah, that's what we got today from the Frederick Town Homestead. A busy day. We cleaned the van, we um, went to Walmart, got a fan, and got a few other things. I didn't have a knife. That's what instigate, insta, That's what made me make the cutting board, is I didn't have a knife or a cutting board. But I forgot the cutting board at Walmart. So uh, I said, well, I got the whole rest of the day to make a cutting board. Golly, I didn't get it done. Yep. That's what we got. Oh, 17 minutes. I better get off of here. Well, guys, uh, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you like. Uh, I am up a little bit on my subscribership. I'm up to 215, I think. 215. That's not 2 million. That's uh, just 200. But uh, we're climbing. We'll get there. <laughs> Yeah, subscribe, like, share, whatever. I never share, so I can't really ask you to share. But, uh, Bear, you're eating the hose, Bear. Yeah. Good dog. Good dog. Kind of a cute dog. Kind of a cute dog. Got to get him some sheep. Yeah, like and subscribe and share and hit the notification bell. I'm getting all this from my other YouTubers that I watch. Uh, and we'll be here. We'll be here for 100 days straight. We'll put up, at least, I'm hoping, and that's my goal, is to put up at least one video a day for 100 days. Today's was a little bit of a strain putting up today's video. But we got her done. We got her done. The cats and the dogs have uh, made friends. The two of them think they're buddies. But, uh, okay. I hope you have a blessed night and God bless. From Fredericktown Homestead. One more look at that cutting board. There you go. Complete with a dog. God bless.